Hanoi Chai, one of the most beautiful places to see terraced rice fields in Vietnam. Even though this area is still not so popular with foreigners, it is quite popular amongst Vietnamese, especially now in September when it's harvesting season. life here because you can see people doing all kinds of jobs on the road, in the rice fields, everywhere. Also, we've seen so many different animals at one place here roaming on the streets. We saw cows, ducks, chickens, pigs, buffaloes, everything in the same place. We haven't seen that anywhere in Vietnam yet. And we also saw them being prepared in front of the restaurants where we ate. Chai doesn't offer many activities like some other places, but these beautiful man-made rice terraces that people have built over the years are more than enough. Also, this is an area where you can still see the authentic local life of Black Hmongs and Thai ethnic minorities. about Hmongs is that they don't build houses raised on wooden stilts unlike other ethnic minorities in Vietnam, instead they build them on the ground. This area has so many amazing villages and rice fields to explore, so my best tip is rent a scooter and go for a drive. That way you'll find so many cute gems and not so crowded places. I highly recommend taking the road to Jekunya village, located on the highest mountain with rice terraces. The views here are incredible. This area is perfect for everyone and you'll see all kinds of travelers here. However, bikers seem to love it the most. I haven't seen so many crazy bikes anywhere in Vietnam yet. So we had a bit of problem with finding vegan food here because every restaurant serves mostly just meat. Uh, we barely found this one that has tofu with tomato sauce and that has been our savior in many remote places. So now we're eating mostly that every day. Right now we are on the way to one of the four most beautiful passes in the north of Vietnam. It's Khao Pha Pass. It is located on the elevation that starts about 1200 meters above sea level and goes to 1500 meters. So the temperatures are quite low. And we felt that so I have a shirt, a police jacket and a hoodie on so I should be fine. Khao Pha Pass is 30 kilometers long and offers amazing views of the mountains and a valley with endless rice fields. It's a must while in Mukhan Chai. This is also a popular spot for paragliding. That's what I'm doing next time. And we're done! One tip, as soon as the sun is a bit higher, you'll be hot. However, during the drive, it can still be a bit fresh. Here's one thing. If you plan to visit during harvesting season, don't choose the weekend. Tourism here is still under development, so there are not many accommodations to choose from and Vietnamese will flock to this area during the weekends, so you might stay without accommodation and the area will be pretty crowded. I was so surprised when I saw how many people were here.